हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द बीआईएसपी सॉल्यूशंस आर टुडेस टॉपिक इज डेटा लोडिंग फ्रॉम ओरेकल फ्यूजन एंड वी विल सी दिस इन आर एफसीसीएस एप्लीकेशन फॉर दैट यू नीड टू गो टू योर एफसीसीएस एप्लीकेशन एंड फ्रॉम एप्लीकेशन यू सेलेक्ट योर डेटा एक्सचेंज कार्ड now here under actions you need to go to you need to select the applications you can see this configure connections icon so what i'm trying to do is we are integrating the fusion application with the fccs application so we are creating the source and the target so we are basically we will be registering the source now for that you need to here click on the configure connections as i have i already created but i'll tell you the process so when you click on this plus icon it will ask which is your source is it your oracle erp cloud or oracle hcm cloud or netsuite so we like my fusion is my oracle erp cloud so i'll click here you need to give some name like maybe you can give fusion application you can give the description as well you need to now give the fusion ERP URL, username, and the password. So after defining all these, you need to click on the test connection to register to configure your application. So I have already done this. We'll see the we'll see what I have created. When I'll edit this, you can see the name I have given as Fusion to FCCS. My URL is this. My username is Casey Brown, and my password is I have already defined the password. so after defining all these i clicked on test connection when i click on the test connection you will get the initialization process will get started you can see the configure connection details connection is successful so right click on okay so your connection is updated successfully after this you need to update your application so that your initialization process get started right now we have configured our application after this we'll uh, after updating this uh, configuration what we created our initialize pro process will get started so you will get the application which you have you know uh, created here so click on update application you need to select what type is this so my was oracle erp cloud what connection name did you established so i established connection as fusion to fccs after that you click on update application so when you click on update application your initialization process gets started now you need to go to the data management come to the process detail you can see this your initialization process gets started now you to wait for some time to uh, to fetch all the projects which are there in your fccs as this will take some time so i have already initiated it and will show you the same so once this is done you will get all your projects like this see our first was starting initialization of source system fusion to fccs similarly i have done the same after initialization is completed you will see all the or you you will see all these projects are fetched from the fusion application now i'll select one and will uh, pull the data from that particular project into our fccs application so like i have already selected i'll select now so i am using this progress uk as my application this i'll use now as my source like Prog progress uk and will start my process okay so this was registering the source now you can register your target as well so your target is fccs which will remain the same like you go to the application you click on plus icon
if you select EPM local your application name will come and the cube if you want you can use the prefix as well if, if, uh, we will use the vision console as our target so you will see the registered application here only so in this way you register your target application after that see we have defined the source system basically we selected progress we will use the progress UK as our source that is one of our project in fusion target is vision console now in we will go and create the import format so import format I created this import format so you can see you give the name you need to now select the source like I was using source as progress UK I selected this project you select the target and save your import format after that you need to do the target to source column mapping so you will get the list from here you need to define or um, these are the dimensions which are there in your fusion application now you need to define which you want to uh, select or map it to the target now, now my target is account my source is similarly it will be account in my source uh, we have amounts so and my target is amount so like this we will map one by one uh, the dimensions which are defined over here so I mapped all the dimensions and then you click on the save so like this you created your import format after that go to creating location when you click on add you will get you need to define the name okay of the location you sele select the import format which you created just before this and automatically you, uh, your target and other things will be selected so this is my location which i created i given the name i have given the name as fusion to fccs underscore loc import format was this okay I selected this import format which I created just before creating the location so when I created the import format it automatically reflected the source and target after that we will go to the workflow so you can see the process is same only uh, the change what we need to do is registering the source system and initializing the process after that we will come to the data load mapping select your correct POV and from the bottom okay so this is my location December 20 is my period okay so I set the location now you need to start doing all these uh, uh, define the data load mapping for all these dimensions so I have done the like mapping for account as star to star similarly I have done for data source as well so data source is source value star target values manage data which is system defined now for entity again I have done the star to star mapping that is like mapping from currency I have defined the target value as entity currency intercompany I will define as FCC as no intercompany as my target value and accordingly give the rule name and save it for each and every dimension for movement I have defined the target value as whatever is my source value it should move to the target FCC is movement net income this is my system generated similarly for intercompany whatever is my source value it should move to the target FCCS underscore no intercompany now for multi gap it should move to FCCS local gap as my target for product whatever is my source it should move to no product and give the rule name and save it so once you define all these dimensions in your data load mapping basically we did the mapping that is what is my source and how should uh, then how it should move to the target value 
after defining the data load mapping you need to create the dlr that is data load rule so this is my dlr what i created that is fusion to fccs dlr your category is actual period mapping type i have used as default so once you define this dlr you need to execute it so when you will execute it that is import and export so you can see the result from the data load workbench that your import validate and export is successful you get all these like this is your source company then this it should map to this particular entity if this is your source account it should map to this particular source account in your target similarly we define that whatever is your intercompany it should map to no intercompany we selected source as analysis so whatever is there in your analysis dimension in fusion it should map to your data source managed data similarly the ledger dimension in uh, source that is in fusion is progress ukgb it should map to movement net income your activity should map to multi gap this is what we defined in our import format and the value we gave in our data load mapping that if this is the value then it should map to local gap which dimension should be mapped to which dimension we define that in your import mapping similarly department should go to the product so this is these are my depart departments it should go to the no product so likewise you can give define uh, the dimensions and this is my value what was there so this is the value what we fetched from the fusion in this particular source that is in this particular project that is progress uk so this is my account and entity in 1121120 we fetched minus 500 similarly in 1130 we got minus 200 and last one that is 33400 is my account so we fetched 700 as as our amount so you can see my trial balance is tallied minus 700 and plus 700 that is zero and we just got fetched three records which were there in our fusion so basically this was the process how you register your source system you in initialize your source system and then you'll fetch all the projects like this see we had initialized till it is running so you fetched all these projects like this select your source define your source in your import format and go on creating like create the import format define the location do the data load mapping create the dlr and execute your process so this is how we do the integration with fusion thank you so much for your time thank you